Hello again, Blenderheads, and welcome back to my character score bunny tutorial. In the last episode, we went through and retopologized this guy. So he now has nice topology with quads and, and he's looking very, very nice. In this lesson, we're going to go through and UV map him in preparation for texturing. If I just pull up a little image here of uh, the original design, you can see that we've got a very, very simple texture here. He's kind of got this reddy sort of brown on his feet and on the top of his ears, a little line going across and yellow um, down in the, uh, in the center of his ears here. And in terms of the body, that's about it. You know, he's obviously got a little bit of color, the same color as his ear on his... Um, on his band-aid on his nose. Oh, his, his nose is actually pink, so we'll have to do that. And then the eyes, band-aid, and whatever this little collar thing is, um, are all separate objects. Uh, so in terms of actually adding uh, a material, this guy's gonna be very, very simple. Uh, and therefore we can do a fairly simple UV map. So for the most part, um, we're really gonna be just kind of cutting this guy in half, um, just kind of down the middle there, uh, and then we'll do his feet as a, as a bit of a separate thing. So um, let's just kind of jump in. So the first thing I'll do here is just turn off our subdivision modifier, just so we can kind of see everything a little bit easier. And I'll open up a new panel here and change this over to the UV editor. Now we currently don't have any UVs because, well, we haven't created anything yet. So let's, uh, let's go in and make our first cut and for the most part, I think cutting him in half is uh, is going to be our starting point. So I'm just going to go to the front view and go to wireframe, and I'm just going to go and deselect his uh, his legs here because I don't think we want to cut down that far. And I'll make sure that I'm deselecting, not selecting. I might just take that a little bit further down, making sure that it's the same on both sides. Um, Let's go in and hit Control E and go to Mark Seams. So that's gonna give us a cut basically all the way around his body. And then I'm going to go through and cut off his legs. And I actually think I want that to go down a little bit further. So let's go and cut them through there, which means I'll need to bring these down just that little bit further. Mark those as well. Then going to do the same with his arms. Let's just take that back one further. Mark those seams. Do the same thing with his ears. Now do we want that one? No, I think we want this next one up. Go and mark those. Uh, we're also going to want to mark the inside of his mouth so that this uh, mouth bag thing we've got here doesn't get in the way of things. So I'm going to go and select that ring there, I think, because that's kind of just behind this little um, extrude in that we did to, to create a little nose piece there. So I'm gonna go and mark that. And then I think I will also split this down the middle. Um, now that's gonna go and select absolutely everything. So maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just select that one and then holding down control, we can kind of trace around this ourselves and get it all the way to that seam that's already marked. We'll go and mark those. And I'm just noticing that this ear hasn't gone all the way around. That's because of this extra little bit of his ear we've got. So let's just make sure that we select that and mark that as well. Just make sure that it's gone all the way through to the center, which it looks like it has. Now I'm going to want to do his legs. So I'm actually going to go and cut his feet in half. So we've got a top and a bottom. And then we're also going to want to cut the feet off separately so that these legs will be their own uh, individual UV map and the feet will be separate. And then we just want to mark a seam so that we can cut these legs in half. Um, now, usually I'd go and put them kind of on the inside. And you know what, I, I think I still will here. I, I'm tempted to kind of just continue this seam along here just so it looks a little bit better in the viewport, but ultimately you're not gonna see this in the viewport. Um, we want this to look good on our UV map, so let's actually go and do the inside edge there and go mark seam. And I think that's gonna be getting close. I do wanna separate his head. 
let's just go and select all the way around there and mark that. And I think, I think that might just about do it. So let's go and select everything. You can see we've got a very messy UV map here. Just hit U and go unwrap. And that actually looks like it's done a very good job just straight off the bat. Uh, so I might move these around a little bit just so it's a little bit easier to see in our viewport here. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go and select islands here. So now when I select, I can grab the whole thing. And I'm just going to shuffle these around a little bit. So that's the head. Um, you can tell because he's got his two eyes and the mouth there. So let's just push that off to the side. We want that one to be nice and big because we want detailed um, detail in the face. And I might just also click this button here so that everything kind of syncs when we select. So now I could kind of go in and hit L. And as you can see, it selects everything here. If we just go and click UVs, it'll now select that island, which is kind of nice. Uh, and we also want to change this to face. You can see that when we select vertices, it selects the outside edges of the other piece. So make sure you've got this on face mode. Uh, and I'm going to go and select the front and the back because I think I'll put these two next to each other on our grid. So let's just go and move that down there. And just make this look a little bit nicer. And we'll do the same thing over here. And just rotate these a little bit so they fit a little bit more snugly together. So go and grab the back of the head here, put that over with the head here. Uh, let's do his belly next. Now, hang on, that just went and selected everything, which means that this isn't split properly. Ah, there we go. We need to make sure that we've split his undercarriage here as well. So go and mark that seam. And hopefully we can just select that and go unwrap. And there we go, that's um, split them properly. And now you can see we can select each island individually. Let's scale that down, it's made them a little bit too big. And that's probably pretty good. Let's go and do the legs individually. And those look pretty good. I'll just go and sit them over there by our arms. I think the feet should be pretty simple. And then we've got I think the interior of the mouth here, oops, which I might actually do a little bit differently. It's kind of splitting it into two different pieces here. I don't really need that. Let's go and make it one piece. So I'm going to go and clear that scene, deselect everything, just make sure that we select those two bits and go and unwrap it again. And you can see now it makes one big piece. We'll just we'll scale that one right down because that's going to be the inside of the mouth and it's really not going to be all that important and it's not going to be seen terribly often. And then we've just got the ears left. So we'll make sure that these are the front and the back of one ear. And then the front and the back of the other ear. And this setting things up like this just makes it a little bit easier for the uh, for the texturing artist because now they can kind of go, oh yes, so all of this here is the head and the back. And that's pretty easy to see. And all of this is the feet. All of these packed together are the ears. And I'm gonna go and move 
the legs up there near the feet and grab the hands and I think I'll rotate these 90 degrees and see if I can't fit them in there. I can't quite, so I may need to just scale these down a little bit, shuffle them into that little gap and now that should fit nicely. And then we've just got the tongue or the, uh, the interior of the mouth there which we can just kind of fit into a gap. So the idea here is to try and give these things as much space as possible. Um, so you can see we've got some gaps kind of through here that we might want to try and fix a little bit. But with this uh, incredibly simple texture, we shouldn't need to worry too much. I'm just going to see if I can't find a slightly better way of getting all of these in here. Shuffle that out of the way. Rotate that 90 degrees. Maybe just shrink him a little bit. And I think that's okay for our UV mapping. And we will just quickly go in and test all of this to see whether it's uh, whether all the sizing of our UV islands are, are nicely working together. So I'm just going to go and quickly create a new material and go to texture and we want checker texture. Plug that into the base color, swap over to material preview. And you can see we start to get this checker texture going all over him. I might just make this a little bit darker so it's a bit easier to see. And then we can kind of scale that a little bit just to get a slightly better idea of what's going on. And we do want to make sure that this is plugged into the UV. There we go, that's a little bit more like it. Now we can kind of scale that up. And you can see that our um, the, the, the size of our squares here, the size of all of our checkers, are roughly about the same. Um, the faces may be getting stretched a little bit where these are getting pulled. Uh, the chest has actually worked really well. Feet could probably do with being a little bit bigger. So let's quickly drop over to our UV editor again and just go back into uh, object mode. Let's see if we can't just fix this a little bit. So I think I've made this all a little bit too big. I'm going to shrink all of that down until those squares kind of start to match. I'm going to go and maybe make our feet a little bit bigger. We will need to rejig some of this a little bit to make it all fit again. I think everything else I'm reasonably happy with except maybe for the face. So I'm going to see if I can't maybe fix this up a little bit and um, reduce some of the distortion that's happening here. So the simple way to do that is just select the face, go up to uh, UVs and go down to minimize stretch. If we just click that and give it a second, you can see it starts to distort things a little bit. And you can see over here, it's gone and fixed that for the most part. And I think that that is, uh, is going to be acceptable for us. Give it a quick look over. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, so in the next lesson, we'll come through and using our new UV map, we will uh, paint a texture for this guy to uh, try and match his original colors.